Welcome to episode 8 of Lucy and Puck. Well, it's the middle of the day, but Lucy is absolutely tired out. So, she's taking a nap while Puck is away at work. Remember, he's a fast food guy right now. Oh, it might be worth noting that the party that they threw at the end of the last episode was completely successful. Despite one of the one of them going to work and one of them going to bed, apparently. That still didn't stop the party from being fun. So now Lucy's aspiration meter is through the roof. And she decides to get up and have a little food. But, oh, what's this? You might want to pause this if you want to read the whole thing, but a bunch of rich kids are bothering Puck's business. So he has a choice. Does he take matters into his own hands, or does he just um, suck it up and deal with it? Well, he decides to be creative and gives them a bunch of crappy, empty food, and now the kids never come back. So he has received a creativity point, which is good. It may not be a promotion, but hey, at least it's a positive thing. It's good to know that Puck is doing good things out there. All right, so Lucy has some food, takes a shower. She's now going to relax and watch some TV while she waits for Puck to come home. Don't worry, that fire alarm is only in the TV show. It's not actually happening. See, Lucy's still thinking of her party. Oh, look at that. Puck has been promoted to shift manager at his fast food joint. Not bad. Not bad at all. Hopefully that's a step in the right direction. It's a very thankless job, but it's a it's a good start. But he's exhausted. He's going right to bed in case he passes out. Well, Lucy decides that she wants to go right to bed too. There's really no point in staying up any longer because she's just plain tired. And I can imagine. So, she comes in here, snuggles up next to Puck. They've both been really tired lately, and it's not a surprise. So the hours pass at night, and they're sleeping together until Lucy is awoken. And no, it's not what you think. She just merely has to pee really, really badly. But then we see what's even lower is her hunger meter. It's almost at the bottom. That happened fast. Lucy is in uh, a pretty bad state in regards to food. So she's better go and eat something. Well, Puck realizes the danger and immediately comes downstairs to make food for his wife. So she's coming down and eating along with him. Yes, one of the things that can very easily run low for your Sims when they're pregnant is the food. So make sure they get a lot of food. So Lucy's eating it up, and she's definitely going to have more than one plate. In fact, she's going to eat three. She's a very, very hungry lady, because after all, she's eating for two. Or possibly three, but hopefully just two. So anyway, Puck is going upstairs to take a shower, and Lucy is starting in on her second bowl of food. She's feeling a lot better now, although her fun's still kind of low. It's not that much of a dire thing. So, now she has finished her second plate, and she is already on to her third. There's just no stopping her appetite. But at least she'll be full, and we won't have to worry about her hunger falling down to the bottom again anytime soon. So as Lucy's wrapping up her third bowl, Puck is back from taking a shower, and 
He's cleaning up. He's being, being a real nice husband and taking care of his wife when she's in this condition. But hopefully it won't last too much longer. Anyway, it's time for Lucy to take a shower. So she goes in there and, oh my, look, her energy is near the bottom too. Well, hopefully she can make it upstairs. Uh-oh, what's she doing? Why isn't she getting dressed? Oh no, she's going to pass out, isn't she? And there she goes. Ah, oh, poor Lucy. Falling asleep, standing up, naked, in the bathroom. Puck's like, whoa, what are you doing there? <sighs> All right, Lucy, it's time to wake up. You can go upstairs. <laughs> kind of a funny reaction she has to it. She looks at herself and nods like, uh-huh, I guess I fell asleep naked. Well, now she's in her pajamas and going to bed. Which is a, a good thing. She really needs to get some rest. Puck decides to do a little bit of drawing. But shortly after, decides it's a better idea to join his wife in bed. It might be the day, but he wants to be well rested for his shift because after all, he's the only one earning money for the family at this moment. So he'll just wrap up his drawing and come upstairs. Well, it's a good thing we get fed Lucy all that food or else she might have been in a dangerous situation. And she did lose a few aspiration points by falling asleep in the shower, but she got a ton from their party being a success, so I'm not too worried about that. All right. Well, now they're back in bed to rest a little more. And that brings us to the end of this episode. So I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see everybody next time. Won't be long now. Good night, everybody.